In the big bill stack, we'll keep you in the know. In the big bill stack, we'll fix your techie woes. And we'll break things up, we'll make things till we're all together raking. And we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bill stack. In the big bill stack, come and join our fire crew. In the big bill stack, we will show you what to do. And we'll hack it till we crack it. And we'll tell the world about it. And forget to tidy up, that's why it's now a bill stack. Hello and welcome to Fake Bilge Tank, where we're recording with random people. We haven't done this in months, we don't know if the setup works, so... No. Nope. We're recording videos and talking about stuff. Okay, we're still on the edge. Everyone's squeezing there. Everyone be comfortable. I can't! I'm sorry! <laughs> I've just sat on our guests and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tiny point yeah. now, we've accidentally kind of split along gender lines as well. Oh, have we? No, I was pointing out the big split in the middle of the... This thing. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah and then yeah, there's yeah. also gender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna play a chair or something? You keep no. pushing onto our side. Uh, push me? Your elbow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is this is elbow. Yeah, that dividing line is we must not cross. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> It's alright, we fixed it. There you go. <laughs> Fix it with our top knees. Yeah. Yes. Is it he? Anyway, oh, sorry. Uh, is it yeah. he? Yeah. Seth. Seth. Yeah, that's yeah. a he. Absolutely. So we're going to talk about two things today. We're going to talk about the Enviro Plus, mm -hmm. which is currently going through a high-level academic um, rapid development process. Yeah. <laughs> yes, agile. It's yeah. agile. Oh, is that what we're calling it? Yeah. Yes, we call it agile. Today, the, so the conclusion today was today the awesome academic power of the University of Sheffield worked out that it didn't work if you put the power plug in. Yeah, yeah, no, we had to rotate it around in the box, you know, it's only taken three degrees <coughs> to get to this point. But wait, yeah. let's rewind. <laughs> Everyone do the rewind thing. <laughs> so what is it? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, should I introduce myself? I don't, do, we, do we all know who we are? Yes, of course. Oh, right, everyone everyone knows right. who everyone is, right? No, no. But in case you didn't, I'm yeah. Tanya, I work here. This is a Stephanie. She has a YouTube channel called As Stephanie Explains It All. Oh, this is Dr. Nate from the University of Sheffield, and he does all sorts of like awesome science comments and stuff like that. He's fun Dr. Nate, isn't he? Fun Dr. Nate. Mm. <laughs> We're trying to rebrand, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, sure Nate. and let's pull on the end. There. Now everybody's <laughs> introduced. Cool. Right. cool. So, uh, several years ago, uh, me and the rest of the Pimroni team, we wanted to do something quite exciting, which was to build a project together to do citizen science, uh, looking at air quality. And we put in loads of grants and we failed miserably to get any money until last year when we finally put in that grant that did actually get funded, which allowed us to get a PhD student called Rohit, who's currently in the other room programming desperately. With Sandy. Yep. Yes. Uh, but what we have is we have designed a device. Do we put it in front of that camera? Um, I don't know. Do we have the magic button to show the downwards camera? In so which case, we place it in my hands. Overhead. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. this wow. is our magical new device. This is called the Enviro Plus. So it's a next generation Enviro hat, which was previously released by Camroni. And this is upgraded to be able to take a few more different uh, readings. So we can now, on top of everything else we had before, which is temperature, humidity, pressure, we can now also read different gases from the environment. So polluting gases, especially such as NOx, so nitrogen dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide, and also volatile organic compounds. These are all gases which can affect both your lung development, the incidence of asthma, and other diseases later in life. He said coffee. Yeah, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. And next we also have this little device we're adding onto it, which is a particulate matter sensor, which is a PM sensor. So this is able to read PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. These are these tiny little particles which are created in the combustion of fuels, which can not only coat your lungs, but also get into your bloodstream and cause all sorts of ill effects. Now, the reason why we're measuring this is because there is a massive emergency within air quality. These air quality issues are leading to premature deaths within people uh, and also uh, stunting the growth of younger people. It's just basically a disaster. And the reason why it's such a disaster is because they're invisible killers and we don't have the technology to really read this at a very fine granular scale. And this project is all about making that accessible because if you want to do this, you have to spend thousands and thousands of pounds, dollars, whatever currency you want to look at getting these high-tech sensors. Our goal is to work out how to do this cheaply so that everyone at home can just strap one of these to your houses. So we have worked out a way of strapping it to your house. Using Who's going to the camera? Yeah, so if we go, we've 
worked out how to do this cheaply and easily for everyone, in so much that we have guttering pieces of pipe, which yep. we can then place out. Oh, that was really oh sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, long pull. <laughs> Paul is pressing all the buttons yeah. today, not me. I'm just gonna go. So we place it into the housing like that on command strips. Again, nice and easy to find and buy. And then you place the PM sensor in the top of it. Like so. That noise is Velcro. Mm, it's a lovely noise. Mm. And then once you join it all together, I won't put the characters in at the moment. But just assume it's all plugged yeah. in fine. <laughs> and we place it like that. And to waterproof it, you just put a bit of duct tape around the side of it like that. You Beautiful. don't trap the particular shield <laughs> on the other side. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then you strap this to the outside of your house, plug it in and connect it to your local Wi-Fi network. And then you send that data to our server. So this is where the citizen science aspect comes yep. from. It. All of that data is taken into our server, plotted geospatially uh, within both the Enviro Plus environment. But also it goes to another service called the Urban Flows Laboratory, which takes in data from both low cost sensors and also the high cost sensors. And we're gonna use all that data to then be able to calibrate and understand your local air quality environment. So we are, Soft launching it, beta mm. test launching it next week. We have trial launch. Yeah, we've got 20 science, well, 20 citizen scientists coming along to a pub to learn how to build this device, get the code up and running, and then strapping it to the house, and we're going to see how robust it is. And then Pimroni will sell it. Yep. Yep, we'll sell it as a fat that fits on a Pi Zero very nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it's um, it's a step up from the old Enviro fat, which was kind of basic level sensors. This is like. Yeah. Real air quality science yeah. sensors. Yeah, big science sensors. Mm. Yeah. Particular matter, people yeah. get very excited. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, all the different numbers on the PM mean the size of it in microns. Yeah, so yeah. So uh, yeah, one micron, two point five micron, and ten yeah. micron. So anything smaller than two point five can get in your bloodstream. Yeah. Okay. So you don't want to be breathing that in. No. So it goes in your lungs and then into your blood and then you die. Not straight away, which is one of the reasons why people don't consider it an emergency because it's one of those things like climate change. It's a long-term um, issue and yeah. long-term chronic health issues as opposed to instantaneous death issue. Yeah. 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 What's that book that you got there? I did this, oh. this, this <laughs> a book there. <laughs> Let's do the overhead. Okay. So, um, Let's do it the other way around. Do the other way around. There you go. Oh, oh. That... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just any of them. Any there of them. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, we're hoping to bundle a booklet with it, which uh, not only explains how the Enviro Plus works, but also like the science behind it, because although we've, we usually are very good at explaining our own devices, it's actually quite good of us this time, working with the university to explain why we're doing it mm -hmm. and to explain why it's important to measure these things. Um, and it sort of gives you a bit of science background as well as the actual tech to do things with it. So you know what you're doing it for, and you know like yeah. how it will impact people. We want to empower people with the data. That's the yeah. thing about it. We want people to not only be able to give us their data, so we can build a really high quality oh. geospatial map of yeah. air quality around Sheffield and also around the world, mm -hmm. but we want people to then be able to access that data and then be able to campaign to their politicians, their local councils mm -hmm. about air quality improvement. Whether that's you know in Sheffield particularly, they're talking about turning off cars outside of schools no idling at schools and other places where small children and small people with like delicate yeah. lungs hang out. Mm -hmm. But it's also about understanding how we can change people's transportation methods, asking people to go by car, or not by car rather, take a yeah. bus or take a cycle, you know, all the different transport to help improve your air quality. Yeah. So this will give people actual cold hard facts of the actual readings in yeah. their area. Yeah, outside of their street. Yeah. On their street. And that's you know, outside their own drain pipe yeah yeah so <laughs> it is important to put it with the open bits downwards yeah. for, for rain purposes and all that we're yeah. interested to see whether animals decide to go inside of it or not you could put the same oh, kind yeah. of like a stevenson frame or any other kind of drain pipe as long as yeah yeah, yeah yeah we're, we're yeah. suggesting this one because we think it looks rather like 1980s but, yeah um and also other drain because pipes it are hides it it hides it as well yeah. so it's not an obvious air quality monitor yeah. Um, and they have seen ones where they've put them in clear plastic bottles, so you can just put the whole thing in a clear plastic bottle or in a, a lunchbox or something like that, a nice bit of Tupperware. But then you can see all the stuff inside mm. it, but then you can use the light sensor too. Yeah. So yeah. you'll be able to look at light readings. 
Cool. That is so cool. And it's got a microphone, but that's only going to do noise levels, really. Noise levels. Yeah, so I, yeah, it probably wouldn't even be working with the first version, but we just want to take average noise levels because there's another area of uh, environmental health is actually your local noise level, noise pollution level, yeah. and your subsequent anxiety levels. There's another academic at the university which studies that, so yeah. interesting to talk to her about. If people start coughing, we can detect that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like that. Not, yeah. not quite that good, but yeah. So, Stephanie, you come from good Texas, nice yeah, Texas. Nice. What's the air quality like there? Oh, well the skies are blue and they're usually okay because it's not a valley, it's very flat. So okay. the wind takes all the bad stuff away, but I know it's going somewhere. So right. <laughs> yeah, where I could see a very good potential for, I think I briefly mentioned, it actually does flood a lot and there's no data knowing where it's flooded, how many centimeters, and you, I think you can easily add another sensor to it to be able to measure the water levels in a way. Yeah. 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 So, so that's, yeah. that is something that we've got on it. So we've got the, on, the, on the bottom of it, we've got, we just switched back from the overhead camera, but <laughs> <laughs> if we go back to that, we've got space for you to add your own sensors on here. So if you did want to add a time of flight sensor or something like that, so you can look down at the, the depth mm. of, of, you know, how far away the ground is, even though that ground might be flood water, um, you might be able to use that. If you really wanted to, you could put a huge soil moisture sensor on the bottom of it. Yeah. <laughs> or, so. or just a stick with some, um, oh God, I'm in the wrong place. Stick with some moisture sensors on it. Yeah. Um, because there's a, different oh, locations, but yeah. The reason why I think it would be extremely useful in a place like Houston is that it floods so much, but the streets, you cannot tell how deep it is. And a lot of people think that it's not deep. They drive into it, they drown their car. A lot of people have unfortunately passed away because of it. So right. flooding is actually a really big issue in this my city. Is the answer not for everybody just to drive like pickup trucks with massive wheels? Even monster those trucks. Like, yeah, even, those yeah. even those. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it drowns monster trucks. Yeah. That's some well, big not monster trucks, but um, <laughs> like those, um, the freeways where they do the underpasses, those. Okay. Those, uh, they get flooded all the way up. There's feet of water in them, and people mm -hmm. cannot understand. Like when you're driving, you don't see the depth. So. And then you're not meant to say floats under and get. <laughs> I'm never going to need a big one. <laughs> and then there's giant alligators in it too. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's Is that Florida? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, not really. We've established the most from preconceptions about Texas. Yeah, yeah. Not quite like, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I watched Rampage at the weekend. There was this giant alligator thing in it. So um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. No rain, yeah. humidity. Mm -hmm. Also, have you got the yeah. circuit board there? Because I think that's version like three of the circuit board. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yeah. Even, mm -hmm. even though the science is the important bit. Yeah. I'd just like to say what a pain it was to get this. The latest version yeah. of the silk screen on the it's board looks good. Yeah. But it's been a real pain yeah. to get this right. I'll not bend any pins, or at least, you know, on camera. Yay. Great. There is, there is a. Yeah. I'm just really. Oh, you just, the it's like, it's fine like that. Yeah. There we go. What? Oh, pretty. you did one. Oh, it's yeah, taking it off one. now, but never mind. Yeah, right. oh, this is good enough. absolute, I will talk at length of what a royal oh, yeah. pain this was to get right. This is not the final version. Mm -hmm. And the black thing there that you see on the right, that's actually a little screen. That's yeah. It. yeah. So if you want to have this inside your house or wherever, you can show stats live. It is in colour as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can have uh, cat gifts on it too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not yeah, the first thing we did at all. Yeah, not the first thing. Sad cat when the air quality is really mm. bad. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> right. Yeah. So you put that example in the code library. Um, Perfect. Okay. Sad cat. Sad, sad cat, cat is sad. The environment is bad. We yes. could do a Dr. Seuss from it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, back to the silk. Sorry, Paul. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Just yeah. It shows the cityscape, and on here it's not very clear because it's too dark. Um, because getting the art right was a pain. We mm -hmm. had like three or four iterations of it. And obviously this is the overriding thing in a science. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must yeah. look pretty. Yeah. You know yeah. it's great. Oh no, like right. in terms, yeah, absolutely. It must look pretty <laughs> at all times. It must adhere to good branding. Yeah. Yeah. Also there's the cutout there next to the BME 280, mm -hmm. which is there to stop kind of thermal leaching, throwing off the temperature so values. That, that oh. That. Yeah. oh god, I need to do my nails. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you point, you've got better nail varnish. Point higher, higher. There you go. This one. Hey, that one. Yeah. yeah. That cut out there. That this big one? Yeah. That smiley face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Smiley. I see you. Oh goodness. It's there smiling. <laughs> Hello, I'm a happy environment. Yes. <laughs> 
Sorry. You turn it upside down when the environment's bad. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, like, sad. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now it's a bad environment. Oh, he's got the little... Now it's a little problem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I do not like Face this anymore. <laughs> That's kind of adorable. <laughs> this is really adorable. You can't, you can't just go buy this because it's got an adorable face mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can. And please send us the data. <laughs> yeah, and send us the data. So yeah. people can send you data from around Back the world. The yeah, so um, you don't have to adhere to the Citizen Science Project. We'd love it if you would, because the more data we have, the more that we can then understand how the environment changes. So one of the big things we have to understand with these sensors that we're using is that their sensitivity and their accuracy changes with the relative humidity and local temperatures. So we'll be spending the first sort of six months calibrating server side to understand how the different sensors work. Yeah. Unlike the really expensive sensors, the 5,000 mm -hmm. ones, which are bang on all the time. So the more sensors we have out in the field, the more we'll understand how it's going to work. I'm really curious to see how bad Houston is. I'll definitely send you the data. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to send you a lot of data. It's really yeah. surprising. Like Sheffield yeah. has some really terrible areas. Really? Where, like, and you'd think it's very lovely. Um, beautiful green city, yeah. but it wouldn't be too bad. And then outside of my office is the worst street. Really? Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, the back end yeah. of it, definitely. Yeah. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So have you got somewhere that people could have a look at the project so far? Uh, I'd, I'd direct everyone towards the Grant from Centre for Sustainable Solutions. Oh, if you have the top down, I have a link here. Yeah, yeah. The Grantham Centre, it's grantham.sheffield.ac.uk. It's yeah. there, we'll put that in the linky bit. Yeah, so that's who is funding the PhD research in this project. So uh, mm -hmm. it's also the Urban Flows Laboratory as well, which is funded by the UK government, uh, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. Mm -hmm. So they fund the big overarching service, and then the Grantham Centre is funding this. Specific, uh, specific citizen science project. Mm -hmm. And if you help out with these projects and submit your data, you could create, you could help create a doctor. Yes, okay, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 A scientific doctor, yeah, yeah. Scientific. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But then, doctor, real doctor. If, you, yeah. if you're on a plane and say, <laughs> yeah. is anyone here a doctor? They can stand up and say, yes, the air quality in here is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder they're collapsing. I've been on aeroplanes when, like, because occasionally they put doctor on my like, boarding pass and then, like, the airline lady or gentleman will come across and then be like, look at me and go, you're not a real doctor, are you? And like, no, no, sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not wearing a suit on an aeroplane. Oh, yeah, so. that's oh okay. well, that's um, fine, yeah. If you have a full emergency, then. Yeah, yeah, oh, I can totally, you know, if you want Doctor to set fire plane. to the place, I'm very good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you're very good at not setting fire to things when you don't want to. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. I only yeah. set things on fire appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Right. Yeah. Should we talk about cool stuff? Oh, we can talk about other projects. So, tell me about your doodad that you've made. What doodad? So, was that on Oh, okay, on yeah. Oh, this, yeah. This was a little thing, yeah, yeah. where... It's very warm. Dominic has a prototype laser cutter from Makeblock. Mm. You were doing like a glowforgey thing, and it has the camera on the lid. Yeah. Where you can draw something on a piece of paper or a material, put it in the laser cutter, and it scans it effectively with the camera. Ooh. So cool. And then you say, etch this. So I, I, I just scrawled Maker Central on a piece of paper, yeah. captured it, and then etched it onto a pie lid. That is and very it, cool. It's all a bit interesting. And then it Super uses cool. it for leveling as well, bed leveling. Mm. So nice. it cuts to the right depth. And that was mildly interesting. I'm like, I want to draw all the things now. Mm. Yeah. Well, so the camera's in the laser cutter? Yeah. Yeah. Watching the bed. Nice. So you, you put sheet paper in. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. distance sensors, lasers, range finders, just, just cameras? Just cameras, yeah. Wow. Just cameras. Nice. So he also that. retrofits cameras into other lasers as well. Mm. He's a very nice. smart man. Yeah. Nice. So you have a nice photo afterwards of the fire happening. <laughs> 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 but yeah. Okay. That was super cool. <laughs> Talking of fire happening. Yep. I took apart a microwave. Oh. I can't, can't lift it with my fingers. Do you want me to lift it with my fingers? <laughs> you can lift it with my hands, but it's it's very heavy. Um, oh, it's, it's also the wrong way up. So this is okay. a microwave transformer? It is. It's the transformer out of our microwave in our kitchen. Because we had to get rid of our microwave because it was old. Mm -hmm. um, but some parts were still working, so salvage happened, and everything that could get salvaged out of the microwave got salvaged, yep. including this. Um, so it takes mains voltage and steps it up to a much, much higher voltage, and then you can see the transformer coils just about, if you wow. uh, those copper ones, and it's in a very, 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 very heavy metal block here, so we have to be kind of 
<laughs> Sorry. How old was the microwave? Um, not old, but um, mm. this this type of wiring is not uncommon. Mm. Because yeah. I think microwaves are very light, like not heavy. The scale, isn't it? Yeah. It's the scale. It depends because yeah. this, 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 this is this is this is basically of all of the weight of a microwave. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's, so yeah, it the rest of it weighs nothing. Yeah. So if we still had it, I'd, I'd just hand you the microwave, and yeah. you'd be like, "This weighs nothing." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, oh. but another part of it that so was. How in did it. you safely do that? Because I feel like it how would be quite unsafe that? to remove um, a massive transformer. Yeah, I would say don't take apart a microwave unless you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I had a qualified electrician with me at all times. Oh, okay. So um, it wasn't just me messing around because this thing is probably the dangerous bit when you're taking it apart which is the capacitor, and you can see the voltage on it, so there oh. you go. 2100 volts AC. Yeah. Nice. Um, but as we all know, it's not the voltage, it's the current that kills you. Okay. Um, but there's a very high current in this as well. So yeah. when, when it's all connected up, the current is exceedingly high. I think it was like a year and a half ago, somebody who died using a microwave transformer in a project. Yes. Carelessly. Not even that carelessly, but I think they had some water run somewhere and didn't notice it. Yeah, it's basically, um, yeah, you have to treat the project as if it will try and kill you at all opportunities. So you have to be like really, really sure what you're doing. Anyway, nice. um, so this capacitor is actually going to be part of the project as well. But a very important part of high voltage projects is... And stop. Yeah. The big but red button. The big red, <laughs> the big red button, yeah. So um, I'm going to use this one to make sure that you can't operate it without the keys. So yeah. that people can't come along and play with it when they want to because it might be very dangerous. It will be very dangerous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, it's in very, very slow progress. But when it's finished, I will, I will film it and we can put it on Bilge Tank. But <laughs> until then... From a distance, right? Yeah, uh, yeah from a distance. There's, you can do calculations, like with all these this sort of extreme electronic stuff. Mm. Like with when you make Tesla calls, you can do calculations to work out how far it's going to arc. Yeah. And yeah. therefore, how far away you should stand, and then triple it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no. So there's there's all sorts yeah. that um, of of safety measures involved in high voltage. So when I went to Gauss Fest, which is a high voltage festival that happens every year um, down in Nottinghamshire, it's um, the the safety booklet for it is there when you go in, all spread out on a table about the size of this table. Mm -hmm. All of the pages of the risk assessment. And you're supposed to read them all before you go in. There's a lot of them. It's if you have this, don't stand near that. If you have that, don't stand near this. If you have this, don't do that. And don't touch this and don't touch that. And stand back and follow all the instructions and basically don't die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if anybody kind of does it for fun without knowing what they're doing, I think they probably will end up dead. Which would yeah. be so good. Mm -hmm. So don't try stuff. this at home, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. um, and if you do try it, make sure you've got qualified professionals to help. So what is, you know, we what's it a, going to be? Yeah. Oh, it's, a secret, it's, it's a secret. It's a secret. It's, fine, it's, it's fine. a secret. Can you give us a hint? A tiny hint. There'll be some big sparks. Okay. Mm. Okay. That, mm. Good enough. It's not a Tesla coil. Yeah. No. Or a Jacob's ladder. There. Which you you can probably narrow it down. To be fair, yeah, you just give us more than one hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. the gherkin. <laughs> if you're involved, yes, it will involve a gherkin just to keep you happy. Um, but yeah, so But uh, yeah, I was, I was going to say, but, but there is some um, high voltage stuff that's just been approved for something that I'm doing in the summer, but it's sold out already, so I won't bother promoting it on here. Yeah, so they can read about it afterwards. They can read about it afterwards. We'll do videos, it'll be fine. What else you got? What else I got? Um, shiny things. You got a pouch. Things. It's a homework bag. It's a homework bag. Oh, sorry, we're going to the download camera, are we? It's a homework bag. You gotta um, see the detail. Because there's like there's at least two cool things about this. What are the two cool things? Go on. Fabric and button. Fabric and button. Yeah, the fabric is Natural History Museum fabric. Um, they do fabrics now. Um, this is part of their um, Oceans collection. And the Oceans collection has penguins and whales and all sorts of it. Mm -hmm. uh, all sorts of it, all sorts of things, but obviously I chose the fishes because fish. Um, <laughs> and I haven't finished this top seam, so please ignore that. But um, I made this in preparation for a thing that I'm doing on Thursday. I'm going to be teaching people all sorts of things about NFC, and I'm going to be doing my talk that I did at Makefair. 
That reminds me, now I'm out of Shenzhen, mm -hmm. I can tell you that I they went to the Shenzhen Metro and they still have single ride tokens. Which yes, they do, the green ones. Yeah. Yeah. I might have bought one back for you. Oh. <laughs> but I need to be out of the country so they couldn't arrest me. For okay. stealing oh. the tokens. Oh. Well, they're old school, they're the best you way paid, to You paid your 70 whatever it is for it. Yes. Yeah. So it's fine. Okay. Yeah, but I'm never going to complete that ride and I'm not sure you're supposed to take that. But system. maybe you will. Maybe you're giving it to me so next time in China I can have a free ride on the Shenzhen Metro. Absolutely, yeah. That's what's actually but happening. It's okay because I, I borrowed Nico's uh, Shenzhen Tong card and I got a Doraemon one. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's nice. Pass it over. Let's put it under the overhead. It's shiny. That's so funny. Oh, that's, that's so good. Shenzhen started doing pretty IC cards now for their Metro. They that's have. You can get all sorts. I'm low-key collecting them now from yeah. Japan and everywhere. Low-key. <laughs> yeah. I love the way that part of it's like shiny and part of it's not shiny. <laughs> you can't nice quite catch it in the light. There you go. Yeah. 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 Nice bit of uh, UV. Yeah, very shiny. Well, when are we getting our UV printer? When are we getting one? We should get one. Oh, we've got some. So, we've got at least two now. Oh gosh, look at the map on the back. Find your way around with this handy oh, map. Oh gosh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to when when I was in Shenzhen, I would count the number of stops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, because they have the maps in English and in Chinese. Mm -hmm. But only on the walls. On the wall, in the station? What, yeah, right yeah. by the ticket machines. Mm -hmm. That's the only place they're in English. So you have to count the number of stops and then mark it on a Chinese map or just remember the number <laughs> of stops and get off and hope you're in the right place. <laughs> so. so it's kind of super new, the system, isn't it? So it's kind of cool. It is. It's like super, super uber, like clean mm. and nice and yeah. Yeah, my favourite station was Chengang Miao. Meow. Meow. See? Triggered. Is it Meow or Meow? Oh, it was Meow. 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 Oh, okay. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Meow's yeah. 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 a different thing. Meow's yeah. yeah. like a really good restaurant over there. There are some <laughs> historical connotations, yeah. but yeah. It turns out there was a really good restaurant called Mav. That's good. Cool. There's a big statue outside. Yeah. Yeah. It's the cool. fancy restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Cool. Yeah. Right. Are we done there? Is that is that a bill? Oh, what, what was what was what was the, the project? Oh, we, the the <laughs> we got distracted. Yeah. We got distracted. Um, the button is because I got some new NFC things, which are buttons, and the buttons are NFC buttons. Ooh. So they contain an NFC tag in the button, but they're completely sellable, which is kind of handy. Um, so I was looking for projects to make them into. I gave one to my friend Jenny, who is a fabric genius. And she made herself a knitting bag where when you scan it, it brings up, uh, you keep your knitting in it, obviously, and when you scan it, it brings up the pattern for the knitting. So I thought of uh, other things that we could do with that. And uh, we've taken it from there and turned it into a little, a little kit, basically. And so people who come to my talk and workshop on Thursday will be making a, a bag with a scannable button on it. They'll be making an NFC receiver coil and various other projects. Yeah, so cool. So, should be fun. Do you have the coil that you made yourself with the wire? Um, somewhere over there. <laughs> but there's, a, there's a video on YouTube about it, so we can uh, we can point people at that instead. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, Stephanie. Of course. Oh, so yeah. going, this is awesome. I'm having fun listening. Yeah. yeah, this is so cool. Thank you for having me. Cool. You can so turn cool. it back to big picture as well, so we can do a proper wave. Okay. There we go. Everyone say goodbye to the internet. How do you say goodbye to the internet? Bye. 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 Wait, can we sink? A slow key, what? creepy. Oh. Can we do that? No, no, I don't have the coordination. My hands are really big compared to yours. <laughs> so don't look at it, dude. Oh my god! Oh my god! I wouldn't have a calm one actually. Okay, what if we do left first? Oh, what's like this? Oh, what's this? If I start and then you do one and then. What's that called? A wave? A wave! We call it a wave! No, it's a wave! It's a wave! You saw the tweet? <laughs> I saw the tweet. <laughs> I, I just found out that in the UK you call it a Mexican wave when yeah. you go like this. Like, it's just a wave in Mexico. <laughs> this is like a big intro here because uh, there was Connor who said the uh, Chinese food and in China they just call it food. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and that, that's Connor all over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've waved goodbye and we haven't gone. Yeah. yeah. That's Bill's tank all over. Bye bye. Bye. bye.